Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to create shapes and patterns with MSW Logo. It's for Windows PC, the subject is computing, and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To do this lesson, you'll need to make sure you have MSW Logo installed on your computer and you get it from the Softronic website here. The concepts in today's lesson is that children will be using a text-based programming language. And they'll type commands and then see the results of those commands as shapes and lines on the screen. So they'll need to have uh, knowledge of angles in degrees, um, knowledge of pixels to know how far to move the turtle in the middle of the screen. And then more advanced concepts we'll look at are using repeat loops and also the idea of abstraction, which means naming a set of commands with a simple name. So you don't have to look at the complex details inside the command, you just call back the command and it will do it without the details. And we'll talk about that later. So the easy activities are to move around the screen by typing one command at a time. Then we'll look at setting the pen color, how to clear the screen, and how to put the pen up and put the pen down. So let's have a look at MSW logo. So the MSW logo, the actual, the default one is that the commander section of the program is down the bottom, but I'll just put it in the middle here so it's easier to see. All right, so you get a white screen and this is actually a pretty huge um, area here. This goes right up from here down the bottom is 1000 pixels. So it starts in the center and the same for left and right. It's 500 to the right and 500 to the left. So the first thing to do is to type simple commands using the full text. And then I'll show you the short way. Forward 100 pixels. And so it just moves forward 100. So you can see it's quite small, a pixel. All right, and then you can type right 90. That's the degrees, it's not the distance. And it didn't go anywhere, it just turned 90 degrees. And instead of typing forward, you can just type the abbreviated FD 100 to go 100. That one. And then this time, if you want to do a left turn, you can type left and, but, or you can also type LT, and that can be 90 degrees as well. And then if you wanted to go back, you can type BACK or you can just type BK. So something like that. Okay, so let's have a look how to clear the screen. You just type C, S, and then press enter, and it's all clear. Now to set the pen color, um, there's two ways to do this. You can type SET PC for pen color, and then a space, and uh, then you can choose a number from 1 to 16. So if I choose 9, set pen color 9, then enter. It doesn't look like it's done anything because I have to move forward or back to see it. So forward 100, and that's time is turned brown. The other way you can do it is go to set. The pen color is here. All right, so you can go to one of these. And then next time when I type right and forward 100, there, you can see it's changed to blue. Okay, so some simple commands for pen up and pen down. It's just pen up and then that's all. So now when I put the distance forward 100, then it doesn't draw a line. So if I do left turn of 30 degrees and then put the pen down with PD, and it doesn't look like it's done anything yet because it's only just down. And then let's see, forward 40. So you can see that it started to move again with the line. So now I've looked at the easy activities and that will be enough for some children to just do those simple commands. We can now go into the medium activities and that's to use repeat loops and also to set the pen size. So to do that, we go to clear screen first. Set pen size, SET, pen size, and then in brackets, the square brackets, you have to have two numbers. So uh, I'm going to do five, space, five, so that one will do a width of five. Then when I go forward now, then it's much thicker. All right, the other thing to do is repeat loops, and that's like this. Type the word repeat, and then type how many times you want to repeat. So let's say repeat four, and then in brackets, you have to say what you want to repeat. So in brackets, forward 100, right turn, 90 degrees. 
and of course that makes a square. All right. All right, other shapes that you can do, you can do repeat three four one hundred right turn hundred and twenty degrees that is for a triangle or you can do repeat five times for 100 right turn 72 degrees that's for a pentagon or you can for a hexagon you can go repeat six for 50 this time I'll make it a bit smaller oops I need to put the brackets and right turn 60 that's that one and for an octagon repeat eight times of course in brackets for 100 right turn 45 degrees all right so that's some different shapes that you can show the children or get them to copy them from the screen by themselves so at this point it's a good idea to get the children to experiment with repeat loops so i've just got repeat 100, they can change this, forward, what it doesn't matter, and right turn, it doesn't matter. They can just try different things, and then uh, they can show each other their commands and learn from each other. Now a challenge activity is to teach the computer how to do commands which represent a series of other commands. And to do that, you need to type 2, and then name the word which will be used to call up the group of commands again. So I'm going to do two pattern, two pattern. And then all of a sudden this two mode, and it's saying to us, right, when you type the word pattern, what's the input? What do you actually want me to do? And if I've just discovered a, a nice pattern that I've liked using this repeat loop, then okay. And then you have to press cancel to get out of it. You can only use one word, by the way. It says two words will be an error. So pattern defined, that looks good. So then, when I type the word pattern, it's going to understand what I mean, and it's done the pattern that I typed from before. Just need to scroll up to have a look at it, and it looks pretty good. So that's a basic introduction to Logo. Uh, the children should now know how to move carefully around the screen, pen up, pen down, and how to do repeat loops, and the more able children will be able to do naming of commands represented by one word. And so I've put a link to many other resources that are available on the internet on the slides used in this tutorial. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.